so uh, hi, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Ricardo Giuliani Martini. I am from the University of Minho in Portugal, and my supervisor is Pedro João Henriquez. Uh, and we are working with automatic generation of virtual learning spaces uh, driven by uh, Kava uh, DSL. Okay. So our work is applied in the context of cultural heritage. Uh, supported by documents. In other words, is uh, institution, uh, institutions that hold uh, uh, sorry uh, that hold intangible cultural heritage. So formation containing the documents and not the artifact. Okay. Uh, what we have today is traditional physical learning spaces, where there's a guided tour uh, in a museum with a specific time, opening hours, or a classroom with a professor, a teacher, um, teaching about some subject um, to the visitors, to the students. Uh, but people tend to learn in their leisure time uh, during a coffee or traveling uh, in a train. Uh, I mean through informal methods of education, you know. So taking uh, into account this domain of cultural heritage, it's necessary to preserve the information that these documents contain and to study and disseminate them. Uh, so it's necessary to have traditional virtual spaces to make them more accessible, more attractive, and more effective um, as vehicles for knowledge transmission. Thanks to the popularization of IT and the internet, it's possible because we can uh, have access any device, any time. So uh, our motivation here is to present an architecture, an approach for the automatic generation of virtual learning spaces made up from institutional repositories of memory institutions. Thus, uh, we want to prove that we can automatically create virtual learning spaces as web page, uh, based on an ontology, uh, which describes an institutional information repository, and on a domain-specific language specification that defines which concepts should be exhibit in that virtual learning spaces, and how it will be placed uh, on the final virtual learning space. So, for this objective, uh, we built an architecture, an approach, uh, which is composed of uh, three modules. Uh, the module A uh, is si simply to get uh, the information from the institution documents, okay, uh, through an ingestion function, and populates the database. And we have uh, an ontology that describes in an abstract way this uh, instance in, in the database repository. But that's the thing here because we can have a, data, a relational database or a triple star database. So if we have a relational database, we need to do the mapping between the ontology and relational database to query uh, this, to achieve this instance from uh, Sparkle queries, for example, and ontology. If we have a triple star, we can access uh, the instance uh, directly. Okay. Uh, then we have the model B, that's uh, the machinery, is the main um, model of this proposal, uh, that we have two main components, that is Kava DSL specification, and Kava Gen, that is the processor, uh, which will receive, receive uh, the Kava specification as input, and then generate the LS scripts or the final virtual uh, learning space. Okay, so as I already said, uh, we have two main components uh, that our work uh, talking about. So the Kava DSL specification um, is the description of the virtual learning spaces Okay, and the curator of uh, the museum uh, needs to write uh, the Kava DC specification 
using the rules of the, gra the Kava grammar. Uh, he needs to know about the syntax of the, the DSL, okay? And the concepts and relations of the main ontology, okay? And the Kava DC specifications should have a subset of the main ontology to describe the objects to exhibit. Uh, in other words, this uh, means we need to, this, uh, to describe this subset of the main ontology to create the dynamic content uh, of the virtual learning space. And a description of the LS structure. Uh, for example, the menu, the filter, the, the footer, and the static content of the learning space. So here we have an example of Kava DSL specifications separated in, into two part, uh, four parts. Sorry, uh, the example is about a project, um, an old project about the Fast Ecclesia Portugali uh, clergy. Okay, so so the first part is about the entire learning space where we have the main config like the LS title, the learning space title, and some tests about this uh, virtual learning space. We can have another component like a carousel of images and these things here, described here. Then we have the header of our virtual learning spaces, that is a menu uh, with a brand, uh, some colors and some behavior if it uh, should be fixed on the top of the screen or should follow uh, the, the scroll, the screen. Uh, and some it items, uh, menu items, that uh, can be a drop-down menu or a, simple, or a simple menu. After that, we have uh, a section in our Kava DSL that's the most important here because uh, curators in museums work with exhibition rooms. So we have a list of exhibitions, and uh, here is described uh, only one exhibition that has a title and short description and other static content. But uh, one important thing is the type of this exhibition because we need to know this to put uh, this exhibition in the right place on the, on the virtual uh, final virtual learning spaces. So we have sessions for permanent exhibitions, temporary exhibitions, uh, special and future. And then we have the most important uh, operator here that is the operator all uh, to query our instance uh, in the relational database repository, our database repository through the ontology. Then we created uh, this operator all that um, should be followed by the document uh, is a concept of the, the ontology, here's an example. And then we have some parameters, like uh, a title for this list, and here is ontology-based data access, that is the file of, the file of um, our mappings between the ontology and database, and then we have the the ontology and some optional labels. Okay. And finally, we have a footer, uh, normal footer of web page with images, format date, developer, behavior, and style because we can have uh, a condensed, a simple footer, but we can have one with uh, another links like social networks, related projects, and address, and other options. This is a simple um, example. Okay. So after the curator uh, specification be done, uh, Kavagen, uh, that's um, the main uh, component of this architecture, executes three tasks. Recognize Kava DSL specification as input, uh, access the mapping rules associated to a subset of the main ontology. This is to search for the concepts referred in the specification in order to identify their instance. So this document concept should, uh, needs to be, must be in the ontology and in the mappings, okay? And 
finally generate uh, learning space scripts. Um, so here we have a schema um, for the module B uh, in detail, where we have a Kava processor that is the same of uh, Kava Gen, that uh, it recognizes a Kava specification file, like that example shown. Uh, and it stores some uh, used concepts and relations in that uh, specification. We call Kava state file here, okay? And then Kava processor or Kava gen generates the static LX, LS script, like PHP or template files, like views. After that, uh, the Kava processor executes the step two, okay? Uh, detailed here, um, and this is to generate uh, the dynamic content of the LS script, uh, the, uh, sorry, of the virtual learning spaces. So here we have two different types of uh, specifications because if we have a relational database, we need to do the mappings. Then the on top mappings, mappings and specifications, a file, a file, Ontology based, ontology based data access. If we have a triple store, we are working with RDF or Turtle uh, syntax. Then, uh, if we have mapping specifications, so Kava Parse, Kava Sparkle processor will recognize that, that mapping and generate the um, Sparkle query. If we have uh, triples, you know, a triple star, a triple specification, then Kava Sparkle triples processor will um, recognize and generate the, the Sparkle query. Uh, these specifications uh, should be described according to the ontology. Okay. So you imagine that we have this ontology for the clergy uh, domain, okay? where we have the document class that belongs to an archive uh, that takes place at a place, a diocese, and has coherent location, a place, and contains a date, okay? Uh, what we, we want to do here is to get the instance from the, the relational database, like this, uh, like this data, according to these labels. Uh, titulo, fundo, diocese, data, okay? Uh, this is the operator, the right operator to do this because we will um, try to get the document uh, concept for this, uh, from this um, ontology based on that mappings. So here we have an example of uh, the mappings declaration uh, made with, um, built with on top framework. Um, that can be assessed in this link. And here we have uh, a simple mapping file with two uh, mapping axioms. Uh, the first one is um, uh, mapping the document concept and to achieve that document concept, the instances of that document, concept, we need to follow that target, that path on the ontology. And to get this, we need to execute that uh, SQL statement uh, from the source. So Kava Sparkle processor will get this, will recognize this uh, input, the mapping input, and will um, give us uh, this uh, Sparkle query. Okay, based on uh, that mapping. So after the, the generation of the Sparkle queries, we need to execute them. In the LS script, um, that the output of Kavagen will query the repository to fetch uh, the real information of the concept specifically and use this information to create the final virtual learning spaces through our browser. So, as I already said, a browser must interpret the LS scripts 
is a bit defined over total learning space. And here we have an example of the fine over uh, fine over total learning spaces created from a, a specification. So this is a that menu um, shown before. It will be, uh, create the PHP files and the view files. In this together, uh, we'll handle a menu like this. Okay, with the two menu items from the drop down menu, a simple menu, the color, and other uh, options, other configuration for, uh, options. Here we have then the case study. Uh, our main entrance of this virtual learning space with the header, the menu, the footer, the footer, and then the permanent exhibition sections, the temporary exhibitions, the special, and future. So because of that, we need to um, the, uh, put that option to this exhibition is permanent or it is temporary, and so on. Here we have a list of exhibitions, in this case it's only one. And here we have the exhibition one with the labels and the instances from the database. Okay, so we executed that uh, Sparkle query and we get these uh, instances. So to conclude, uh, the main goal of this PhD work is through the collected information of these cultural institutions is to allow the institution responsible, the curator, to describe virtual learning spaces. And this work is motivated by an unpublished idea because this work is not another project in the e-learning area and also is not a new approach in the area of creating digital versions of traditional museums like the 3D ones. And as a future work, we will implement and perform tests in a new case study uh, of a collection of life histories of the museum of the person. Okay. Thank you.